Hill with the sports news. It's in the bag. The West Indies have taken a series winning lead against Bangladesh after killing their host by eight wickets in game two. The Wendy's defeated the Bangladeshis this morning in game two by eight wickets after bowling out the holes for 220 in 48.5 overs. Well, it could have been a lot easier for the Wendy's, who had Bangladesh struggling at 58 for five. Kimar Roach took three for 49, Ravi Rampal two for 27, and Captain Darren Sammy two for 42. When the West Indies replied, they knocked off the target for the loss of just two wickets. Man of the match, Marlon Samuels got 88, not out, and Lendl Simmons 80. That is the end of uh, Imrul Kais. Ravi Rampal has his man. It's just tickled through today from round the wicket. Down to third man who comes under it. And Tammy McBall goes. God, make it one for three. Unbelievable. This is a fantastic start for West Indies. And not helping the team cause. Is that another one? That is a terrible shot. Urgency starting to show from both these batsmen. And it's gone up. And take it. Once again, it's the short pitch delivery. It was there to be taken. That is disappointing. Really disappointing. It's a soft dismissal. So, he's on 49. 50 to Mr. Cool. His 10th in ODI cricket, and really it should just be the beginning of an innings for him. Well played. But, harsh silence, it looked uh, as if it would go all the way. It settles the pitch. There goes uh, Abdul Razak with a big one. That's gone a long way. Top strike rate. He could be in trouble. Now oh, is he gone? Yep, gone. That's a big wicket. And a well-deserved fair 50. Second ODI 50 for uh, Nasser Hussain. And my word coming in the tremendous pressure. time there. Bishu calls for it. And Bishu takes it. Knocked him over. So two wickets to uh, Darren Sammy. And it's 220 in the end. Pulls it. It's in the air. And that's gone all the way in fact. At six. That is gone like a jet. Shakib is coming from uh, the other end, so it's just changed hands. And it's been hit away. And there's a good catch taken. Has it taken it cleanly? Uh, we'll wait and see. He's not celebrating. Rubel Hussain. He says he's out. It's out. It's 54 Lendl Simmons. Seventh half century and to 100 in his last 11 innings in ODI cricket. Beautifully played. They're playing big shots. There he goes again, over the top. And uh, it's gone, gone all the way. And then Tamim Mikbal also. Oh, I was lucky. I was very lucky. We'll pick up his 50. On the square leg. It's out for LBW and he's been given. And that's a victorious run. And that completes a series victory for the West Indies. Congrats to the West Indies, the final game on Tuesday. At home, leaders Sajid Koryuvi kept in front as the final chase for the Lion BCs. First division title began today. Batting first, they planted the ICBL Empire attack for 352 for six over Bank Hall 
uh, picked up four bonus batting points, moving to 131. The charge was led by coach player Floyd Reefer, who hammered 161 not out. He hit 29 threes and three fours. He faced 154 deliveries and batted for 232 minutes. Yannick Otley contributed 48. Now, second place, CGI Sandy Crest Maple had mixed fortunes against Super Center Spartan at Queen's Park. They're doing pretty good. Maple batted first and were shot out for 184. Kirk Broom stopped scored of 38. Amir Thomas got 4 for 45. Shioki Payne, 2 for 34. And Andrea Marshall, 2 for 41. By stumps, the Maple Lights door had hit back forcibly, reducing Spartan to 97 for 6. Jamar Griffith has taken 3 for 19. Maple earned two bonus bowling, bowling points to move to 122. At Wildy, Guardian General Bobby Destuve, 129. Sherlin Graves, 6 for 37. Lime, 23 of outlaws in reply. Desmond Haynes, Oval. BDS Sports Program, 229 for 6. Athelbert Brafwit, 61. Lorando Best, 54, not out. Versus Telly Bobby Destuve, Carlton. At Bayfield, yes, Bayfield Pickwick, 246. Corey Yearwood, 73. Gerard Dilt, 69. Derek Bishop, 5 for 90. BNB St. Catherine, 2 foot loss at Stumps at the Brewery. WAMPC, 84. Jamar Nichols, 6 for 32. Banks, 116 for 6. Tennis, Pundy Rock is back and we're rocking. And this time, there will be four big tennis stars taking center court. The two-day exhibition event is set for December 10th and 11th and was launched this morning at the Sugar Hills Resorts in St. James. In attendance was CBC's Anne-Marie Burke. We have coming is Venus Williams and Victoria Azarenka, who's currently ranked number three. And then we have on the men's side, John Isner, who was the winner of the longest match in history at Wimbledon. And we have Gail Monfils, who's currently on quite good form and beating Roger Federer leading up to the U.S. Open. With those four big names, this year's Tennis Pundy Rock event has adopted the slogan, Four Times the Action. It is slated for December 10th to 11th and has a slightly different format than its first staging in 2009. On Friday the 9th, we're going to be having a players party, uh, which is going to be hosted at Lime Grove. Um, and that will be a you know, very exclusive, high-end event, similar to that of the... similar to that of international tournaments and stuff like that um, so we're looking forward to that um, the change of dates what we're doing is we're doing it a little differently this year we're gonna have the Sugar Hill event on the Saturday on the 10th and gymnasium on the 11th which is a Sunday uh, why we're doing this is we're just following more of the theme with international tournaments which have their doubles, finals, and so on the Saturday, and the penultimate event, which is the singles, on the Sunday. Other key events will be the fantasy camp for junior tennis players on the Saturday morning, an auction of paintings of the players by international artist Daniel Botero for the charitable benefit of the Tennis Pond the Rock program, as well as a Bajan village for patrons who are taking Sunday's action at the Wildy Gym. Anne-Marie Burke, CBC Sports. This year's event will see the players actually compete in a best of three sets for both events and tickets will be priced between $75 to $250 for the event at the gymnasium. That's Roger Farley's price. While tickets for the Sugar Hill event goes at $450. All inclusive. Life on the rock. Wouldn't trade it for the world.